Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Telegraph, which is a very simple tool for publishing a multimedia story online. It's not a blog, it's just a story publishing platform. You don't need an email address or any kind of login in order to use Telegraph. Just go to Telegraph and give your story a title. And this story is going to be about travels or adventures, let's say adventures with Morrison. And we'll start with this. Now when I hit return, you'll notice on the left hand side I have the option to add an image or I can add a video. So let's click on image and I'm going to put in an image of our stop in North Dakota. And now down below you'll see my cursor appears and I can, can continue to write. And again, I hit return, and I can add another picture. There we are, under the world's largest Easter egg in Alberta. Now, we'll write just a little bit more and say, sadly, this was the last big adventure. we had together. Here's a tribute video to Morrison. And again, I'll hit the return key. We'll see down at the bottom here. Again, my image, add image or add video. If I want to add a video, click it once. And you don't have to use an embed code. Just grab the link to a video from YouTube or Vimeo paste it in and press enter. And uh, thanks to Dan who sent in that little tip for me. So now I'm done with writing this story and I'm going to go ahead and hit publish on it. And once I've hit publish, you'll notice in the upper uh, address bar, you'll see there's a, a new address created, and that's where my story resides. I can go back in and edit this story, then publish it again. However, once I sign out of my browser, I won't be able to go in and edit this again. So keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is not a blogging platform. Uh, you'll have to create each story individually and each story will have its own URL uh, and you won't be able to go back in and edit once you've closed out uh, of your browser. So keep that in mind. But it's a really simple tool if you want to publish your writing online without having to sign in or sign up or register for any kind of account. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.